So that means well put together, should last a long time. Here we go, Gate is down in the 46 class, feet off the peg. That's one way to do it. And never let off. Nope. No, they, don't only, they only know one way, and that is throttle on. Uh, the number four is out front. That is smart. And he's just passed. Let's see here, up and over the hip. We're going to put uh, Megawatt's eyes to the test. We've got oh. the smaller digits on the smaller motorcycles. Not going to happen. Okay, Megawatt's out as far as picking <laughs> numbers. Uh, 132. We see the 132 of Wellsian in the number two spot challenging for the lead. What? He's signing up for I, work? I guess, dude. Wow, I, I thought we had broken him. I thought yeah. we had broken Chase Yenser, but he's – He's, He's a glutton for punishment. You, you know what? He, 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 in between rounds, he got him a drink. They put a little Vaseline oh, on him. Okay. Okay, they iced, they iced down a couple of the bruises. And, uh, dude, he's back. He's going to bring it to Megawatt right now. Did, they ask, did he ask for him to cut him? <laughs> cut, me, cut me. Cut me. All right, I got names and numbers now in this class. Uh, the uh, number four, Jaden Smart, got the whole shot, still leading all the way out of California. Rode real good yesterday. I think he might he might have qualified first even. I'm not sure, but he had uh, great lap times. And uh, one of those guys, like I said, just had his innate ability to make the bike float through the deep stuff, you know, not let the bike get controlled. It was just impressive to watch somebody at that age make the bike light. Yeah. Uh, I don't know how much is learned or how much is natural. Uh, they just, they just kind of do it. Yeah, You know, it, it's one of those things because you'll watch some of these kids plow straight through the sand, and another one, uh, for some reason, knows – we need to keep that wheel spinning. We need to be up on top. You know, on top it's just that. something like you said that's in them, really. So Jaden Smart has pulled away on the number four. He's got a three-second lead over Gavin Wellsian. Smart was only sixth in his heat race yesterday, but it has come together here when it counts in the main event. Wellsian was second in his heat, running second in the main event right now. And Eli Schneider is third. He won the heat race yesterday. Schneider, six years old. Wellsen is a five-year-old. Jaden Smart, a six-year-old uh, on the number four. Jenser, you're back, dude. I didn't think we'd see you again. Yeah, I came back. <laughs> All right. He's yeah, at I least came back. <laughs> he can take a punch. <laughs> That's it. That. Yep, absolutely. Yeah. Now, doing a great job today. And like I said, a lot of fun we had. Uh, but all seriousness, he brings a different view, uh, absolutely. And uh, his ability to tell us what these young guys might be thinking, might, what might be going through their mind, uh, you know, a lot closer to their perspective than maybe you and I. Well, yeah, I, I'm not able to <laughs> identify with the 4 to 6 demographic. He's at least closer. At least he's closer to it. He's quite a bit older than him as well. Uh, uh, it's unbelievable what these kids are able to do, and honestly how seriously they take it when you see a rider out of California leading the way in a 4 to 6 class. And we're here in Florida, man. Yeah, that's exactly right. And that, that goes to uh, talk about the commitment, the uh, importance of these races. And when you put uh, this one on your resume, uh, it's worth that drive. I can tell you that. And when you go home with that medal, when you go home with that uh, trophy, rather, I can tell you that's not so long a drive <laughs> when you're the champ at Daytona. And that's, uh, you know, that's one more notch in the belt. That's one more uh, rung of the ladder, as they say. And when you add these majors, and there we go. We're talking about that young lady yesterday. And uh, – the ability to get through that sand pit on that PW with no momentum, incredible. And not shaken, not stirred by the rest of the competitors around him whatsoever. Yep, no pressure. What pressure? No pressure. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, the uh, the drive all the way back to California a lot better, but there are many legendary stories of what the drive is like cross country when you don't have a good race. Absolutely. <laughs> and you know <laughs> it's what? It's a long, quiet drive. It, it, it's really simple math. Uh, there's 19 of those drives for every one of the uh, good yeah, drives. Yeah, it's good real point. simple math, bro. That's okay. right. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, right now looking good for Jaden Smart. It's got to be tough, Chase, on these riders on 50s with the holes and bumps obviously are not size for these bikes. Yes, they're basically like little uh, doubles for them, and uh, they're getting through them great. You know, I like what you said. You, you know, basically, you'll see these guys hopping some braking bumps. Yes, exactly. You know, their knowledge to them, that's a double. Yeah, 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 yeah that's and right. It, and Scale it feels model. the same, yeah. And you know what? As they grow past that braking bump, they're going to do this step off right here. And yeah. then they're going to go to an open double. Yep. Then they're going to clear the big table, you know. Exactly. So, very cool. Good observation. The 218 you were just watching on screen, that's Eli Schneider. He is running in third right now behind Gavin Wellsian. Oh. Oh, Ryder stuck at the top of that jump, the 132. Reminds me of when Suzuki and Kawasaki had the uh, merge bike there. We got green <laughs> yeah, on the back and absolutely. yellow on the front. It's like the old uh, original KX250F. We got a green rear fender on a yellow Cobra. 
That is uh, Wellesley in your second place rider right out of Orlando, Florida, not too far away. Probably so ride that bike home. Yep. During that period, I always wondered if we were going to see a KM125 or an RX250 like maybe. Just finally, <laughs> just <laughs> you know, let's just it do completely. it. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so there is uh, Wellesian, four to six class. Saw him out cruising with the Harleys yep. last night. Yep. Running it deep on Main Street on his Cobra. That's how it happens. Burnouts in the that's, burnout That's bar. how it happens, okay? Yep. When you roll hard, that's what that's how it goes down. That's bike week, dude. Yes. Bring the Cobra Absolutely. out. Absolutely. Bring yep. it or stay home. That's it. I saw a couple fat boys and a kid in a Cobra. Saw a King Cobra amongst the street glides. <laughs> <laughs> you know? I love it. Yep. Get some barbecue. <laughs> they do have, there are places here at Daytona, you've probably seen this megawatt, where they actually build pens. You can ride your Harley into it, lock the gates, and then do a burnout inside the bar. Weege. Yeah. <coughs> Me megawatt like been doing this since about 1982. Yeah. And uh, it, it, if you like, I can take you over to Joint tonight where we'll strap down a gold wing, drain the oil out of it, and we'll, sell, we'll sell tickets for $10 a piece <laughs> to see who gets to hold it open. <laughs> Problem is, it, problem is it'll take about 45 minutes for that gold wing to blow with no oil Even in with it. No oil. <laughs> uh, I know you Seen it all, red, my bro. man. I know you Believe it. Red. Yes. It's hard to kill a gold wing. Then we'll go over and catch a little coleslaw wrestling, and then by the time we're done with that, <laughs> we're going to go watch some grease pole climbing. And <laughs> you oh, know, my so, gosh. Yeah, absolutely. Wait, it, our has leader, Mega Watt, seen it. has gone down. That is our leader, the number four, down. He had a big lead, over 30 seconds, but if he can't get the bike started, that's not going to matter. So this is some drama right here for our leader. Chase, this goes back to what we were talking about a minute ago. These ruts, these holes, you know, these kids have to be really careful because they're not size of them and just absolutely caught the wrong rut right there. Yes, he did. And uh, it looks like he got the bike started and he's off going again. That was right in front of us here in the tower. Got to watch. He basically, and from our perspective, he was behind uh, that jump. And then we just never saw him come out. And then he finally got the bike to the top. They got it started. I think he's still in the lead. I don't believe I saw Wellesian on the yellow and green Cobra go by. That's why you need to build up a 30-second lead, man. Th that's why that gap of 30 seconds helps. I love that he just wanted to go high in that burp. <laughs> he did. He wanted to go up and throw a big monster yeah. root. He wanted to spray yeah. the flagger. I think just for the fun of it. <laughs> yeah, just absolutely. Good pictures. Yep. Down the straightaway and still in the lead. No one in front. So a little bit of drama for Jaden Smart, but able to pull it back together. Jaden uh, on the Cobra motorcycle, back by Dunlop. OG's Goggles, Smart Attack Racing, B's Moto Lab, Bruce Demex, and the Justin Costello, his State Farm agent, his friendly oh, State great. Farm agent, Justin Costello, great. throwing some cash down to make that drive from California to Florida. Probably knows Jake from State Farm. <laughs> wearing, what are you wearing right now? Khakis? Uh, yeah. Khakis. Khakis. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I got to say, Chase, he, for having the crash and almost throwing the whole thing away, got right back to his regular pace. Yeah, he uh, just moved right past it and uh, so forgot about his mistakes and kept on going. Hey, you know, the attention span in the 4-6 to six division, not very long, so he probably already forgot that that happened. Probably. Yep. He's got to pay attention to one turn at a time. It's difficult. You know, it, it was just like the video game to him. He stood it back up, you know, yeah, got yeah. on again yep. and took off, you know. Oh, I think at that point he was looking for the reset button, but they don't have that uh, in racing. you got to hit a race it to the end. Yeah, the attention span, you know, that four to six class, you get like a, a double jump. They're already thinking of the uh, landing of the double before oh, the yeah. takeoff because they can't hold their attention. They're past that, that double. They already, they already did that. They already did oh, that. look, yeah. ruts yeah. <laughs> behind the <laughs> double, yeah. you know. You give them a pack of uh, six whoops, <laughs> they're already thinking of the third one by the time they get to the first one because of the lack of attention span at this oh, age. Oh, shoot. Here it is, checkered flag. Little drama, not a problem. Jaden Smart is going to win it and still with a solid gap. Because I believe Wellesian must have had problems because he was second and Eli Schneider is looking to take the final runner-up spot. <laughs>